This is an unboxing of a very special package. We received this box in the mail from Ayers Creek Farm in Gaston, Oregon. And the cool thing about what they do is a lot of their produce is cultivated more for flavor than it is for some other factors that you can breed for. When you breed plants, you can breed them for shelf life, in which case you have a tomato that tastes like cardboard and lasts six months, or you can breed them for tanginess, or you can breed them for size, or you can breed them for color. There's a lot of value that goes into that, a lot of personal valuation that goes into choosing the attributes. And a lot of times it really is done poorly. You just focus on yields and nothing but yields, and so you end up with lots of super bland stuff. But that's not what Ayers Creek does. The philosophy that Anthony Blotard and his wife Carol use is one that's focused on the experience. And so he sent this so that I can test it before our podcast conversation and see how much difference there actually is. And I have to tell you, I am super excited. So, packaging here at the top. Ooh, an Irish Creek Farm catalog calendar. Ooh, awesome. Ooh, these are cool pictures. This is their, their special chicory. This is based off of uh, an Italian variety. It's super fancy. Wow. Wow, you can see that. Look, look how much color there is in the salad. I mean, you don't normally think of salad as being art, but I could totally see it there. There's this one super famous Chinese sculpture of a cabbage carved out of a piece of impure jade. So lettuce can be art. Gosh, that's really cool. That is really cool. Here we have... Oh no. This is stone ground Amish butter corn. Ooh. Ooh, is this already nixtamalized? Okay, so that's, that's cool. We've got... Oh. Dry beans. Borlato Gaston. Toast of the town. Oh, this is gonna be awesome. I'm excited. I, I'm really, really excited. Oh, this is a stone ground eight row flint corn. This is the Roy Calais flint. This is the, the flint corn from the cover of his book, Beautiful Corn. Gorgeous, gorgeous stuff. And this is Amish butter popcorn. No way! Oh my gosh. I'm making this tomorrow morning. I'm super excited. Are you excited? Amish butter popcorn. Most popcorn kernels that you buy in the store are designed to have as little flavor as possible. They actually breed them for that. No flavor. That way you can taste the butter and the salt and the kettle corn mix. But some breeds of popcorn have their own kind of nutty awesomeness going on. So that's super exciting. Oh, 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 I can smell it already. This! is a winter melon. You've heard of winter squash. And winter squash are awesome because you can grow them in the summertime and then the hard rind keeps them safe throughout the whole winter. And so you can eat them in like January and that's fine. And you can have squash, like butternut squash. But what if you could do that with melons? And that's a thing. Like, I didn't know that was a thing before today when I read Mr. Anthony Botard's article. But this, Let's show you the package. This is a wrinkled, hard-skinned, green melon. And if we cut into that, it will be a melon that keeps by itself for months. And he said I could, uh, I could plant these seeds, so I think I know exactly what I'm growing in the garden this year. My daughter was asking for melons. I think this is going to be a really cool thing. Gosh! I am... I'm really excited. Can you smell that? That's amazing! I'll have to show you a shot of eating it and see if it's any good. I'm sure it is. They, they've been, uh, at Irish Creek Farm, they've been trying to get the genetics right for this. So they've been selecting the best tasting ones year after year after year so that more of them end up being the really good tasting ones. And I, I'm really excited to see this thing. So yeah, box from Irish Creek Farm. 
and a little bit of the uh, the pickiness that you could bring to crops when you when you are working on the plant genetics yourself. You can choose things like melons that last for months and still taste good, or popcorn that actually tastes like popcorn, and not just the butter that you sprinkle on it. I feel ridiculously rich. And maybe that's a weird feeling, but you know that scene in uh, Robin Hood? Like the old cartoon one where Prince John is playing Oh! Oh! With his gold? I kind of want to do that with the popcorn. Just open it and play with it. Wow! Wow! Look at that color! They're like pearls. I'm growing rhapsodic about popcorn. It's hard to tell on the video, but that is gorgeous. That is so cool! I wonder if we can fix the color or something, but that's not the typical golden thing, and it's not the normal pale stuff. That is... that's really something. Now let's try a piece. I'm just going to suck on it. I'm not going to break my teeth. Flint corn is called flint because of how hard it is. Popcorn is a slightly harder version. Yeah, this is going to be better popped as popcorn. I'm jumping the gun a little bit. Hmm. Interesting. It has a little bit more flavor. Like, uh... Hmm. Like a little bit more of a tortilla flavor? That's really nice. It's also sweeter than I would have expected. Should we make pancakes for the kids tomorrow with the flour? Yes. <laughs> it's got little red sparkles in it. Everybody take a piece, and then tell me what you think. I love it! Mm. I love it too! Mm -hmm. Wow! Wow! Mm -hmm. Do you like it? Is mm -hmm. it good? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's good. This is uh, incredible. Mm -hmm. And that's the season. That's pretty amazing. That is. Can I try? It's incredible. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> yeah. I thought it was That's amazing. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely incredible. I thought it was And here before. we've got seeds to plant for this year. This is a really cool thing. That they do some of their own prep apparently, like grinding it themselves. You know, that's a, a clever way for a farmer to make to do if you do more of the post processing you take more of the profit home to the farm. So that's a really cool thing. You also get to choose how it's done, which means quality. Did I mean, they use a big old grindstone? I don't know. That's what the picture they have on the label, but... I mean, our, our little mill that sits on the counter is technically a stone ground mill. So, I don't know, it could be one of those. I gotta tell you, tomorrow at breakfast, we're gonna try this stuff and it's gonna be amazing. Wow. I'm excited. I'm really excited. See you next time. Thanks for watching and bye bye.